Thank you very much, Jenna. Jenna uh, Dan Chimetta joining us from Consolidated Credit, making one of his regular visits. We're always talking money. This time around, we're talking taxes. We want people to understand that it's never too early, but it can be too late. Absolutely, yeah. So the last day for filing for taxes is going to be April 30th. April 30th. Yeah. Um, and what happens if I file beyond that date? So you can get a late payment fee, like a late payment charge of 5%, Ooh. Okay, plus 1% uh, per month every month thereafter. Whoa. So inevitably what we're looking at is around 17%. That can, be, that can add up very quickly, but if uh, they owe me money, I can file late without any trouble, correct? Right, yeah. So, I mean, that said, we always want to file anyway, just in case we do owe money. Because right. in a lot of cases, we make the assumption that we're going to get something back, and sometimes we're sadly mistaken. Uh, it's interesting, though, that the government will let us wait when they owe us. But when we owe them, <laughs> it's due now. Okay, let's talk about some of the money that I can get for free. There may be tax, exem tax exemptions out there that I could be missing out on. What are the common uh, things that get missed? Yeah, there's certain things. Like if you have children, as an example, and they're enrolled in Cub Scouts or Girl Guides or, you know, all kinds of different things, even a CPR course, okay. um, there are some deductions that are available as a result of those things. Uh, different activities for, for youth or for children. Um, Through an arts credit or a fitness credit, correct? Right, yeah, arts okay. or fitness. And uh, it doesn't stop at children. I mean, you can claim these things up to the age of 24, um, but the amount that you get back is slightly different. So, I mean, people always miss these things. Sure, because you, you wouldn't think that uh, the fitness activities that my 22-year-old is doing would count, but right. they can. Yeah, and you have to be careful on what you claim in those things as well. Uh, as an example, music school, sometimes there's rental fees for equipment, a uh, drum set or a guitar or something like that. Those rental fees don't apply. It's more for the course itself. It has to run the course of a week at least. Okay. And uh, there's some other complications in that as well, but you really have to check our CRA website just to be sure that you're claiming the right thing. And that's the thing is to be sure because if you make mistakes, uh, unintentional or not, uh, it can mean serious consequences. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, again, this is how we lose our benefit. You know, we like to get that tax return so we can hopefully save it, right? And at that point, um, you know, we're, we're losing out on that. So we want to be sure things like medical expenses, right? Okay. Uh, we want to make sure we're claiming the right kinds of medical expenses. And sometimes people are not claiming the proper things because they think that, well, maybe this doesn't apply. So again, you've got to check the CRA website. There is an alphabetized list that runs on for days. So make sure that you look at that list and see maybe there are some things that you're missing out on. And it can even include things that get double filed. Uh, myself and my employer may both have access to the same number, but both of us can't claim it. That's right. So if you, as an example, you've claimed um, uh, some sort of a medical uh, a drug or something like that. Okay. Uh, you claimed it at work. Your employer covered 80% of it, and then you try and claim it on your taxes. This is a really big no-no. Right, yeah. and those are the things you want to avoid as much as possible. So what's the number one thing I need to keep in mind when I go talk to an expert about my taxes? Uh, organization, and number one thing I could tell anybody is that you cannot claim what you cannot prove. So have your receipts, bank statements, um, all of your forms, your T4s, your your uh, RRSP contributions, all of these things are very important to your taxes. Pull out that shoe box and bring it to your expert. It all starts with educating yourself. And we'll put uh, Dan's website, uh, Consolidated Credit, on breakfasttelevision.ca so you can start that education. Going to take a break. Plenty coming up on BT.